Okay, so today I'm talking about a P0115 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. And so what is a P0115 code? Well, it's an engine coolant temperature sensor one circuit. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called an engine coolant temperature sensor that's just reporting back to the computer what the temperature of the engine is. And when you get this P0115 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem with this sensor. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what are some possible causes of a P0115 code? Well, the first thing that could cause problems is that there's some kind of problem going on with the engine, that it's overheating for some reason, or there's low coolant or something like that. Basically, if the engine is having some kind of problem, if it's overheating or there's no coolant circulating through the engine, then that can throw off these engine coolant temperature sensors and cause them to do weird things and throw out codes and things like this. Although this P0115 code is pointing more towards a circuit issue, just keep in mind that there is some kind of problem with the engine, like it's overheating really bad for some reason, then that can trigger these engine coolant temperature sensor codes. So the first thing that could cause this is some kind of problem going on with the engine. The next thing that could cause this is a bad engine coolant temperature sensor. That sensor might have just gone bad and just need to be replaced. But if you do go to work on your vehicle, it's a good idea to get a diagram where all these sensors are located and what's going on with them. Because there can be one sensor or there could be multiple sensors. There could be two sensors or even three sometimes. It's really going to vary. It's going to depend on the year, the make, the model, the vehicle. So it's a good idea to go and get a diagram where all these sensors are located because it's really going to vary. Once you locate that engine coolant temperature sensor number one, there's some different ways to go about testing that sensor. These sensors are what's called a thermistor, which is a resistor whose resistance changes as the temperature changes. Oh, so there's some different ways to go about testing that sensor. If you have an OBD2 scan tool that has live data or data stream, you can use that to go and test these sensors. Basically go inside there and select the ECT sensor and check to see what the temperature is. The first test you could do is if the engine's cool and hasn't been running for like at least an hour or two, check to see what the temperature is and then see if this is close to what the temperature should be saying. So for example, say the engine's been off for an hour, the temperature outside is like 70 degrees, and you go to check this and it's saying something like this, like 129 degrees Fahrenheit, or something really high, like 500 degrees Fahrenheit, or something like that, then you know there's some kind of problem there. You can then start up the engine and see if it starts to warm up correctly. And basically you check to see if this engine coolant temperature sensor is matching what the heat of the engine is. You can also use a multimeter to test these. And to do that, you find what the rated resistance is supposed to be at a set temperature. So you find the chart for this ECT sensor, and it's going to have a rated resistance at a certain temperature. So you use a multimeter, you use ohms, you check to see what the resistance is, you check the temperature, and it should match this. And if it doesn't, then you know it's bad. So you can't use a multimeter to test these. But the next thing that's going to cause this is a bad engine coolant temperature sensor. And the next thing that's going to cause this is that there's some kind of wiring problem going on with this sensor. And basically there's like an open, there's a short, there's a blown fuse, something along those lines. So first thing to do is be sure you don't have no blown fuses. Be sure there's no issues going on there. You can also go and get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle because there will be differences between wiring depending on the vehicle. You can go and check the wiring to see if there is any issues. And it is very common for 5 volts to be going through these sensors. Again, be sure to get schematics for your vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. But it is very common for 5 volts to be going to these sensors. As the engine heats up, this resistance value is going to change. And it's going to go back to the computer who could read these changes and do its calculations and know what the temperature of the engine is. So you can go and check and be sure you're getting 5 volts to that sensor. And also be sure the signal wire going back to the computer, that is good, that there's no problems there. For some vehicles, the temp gauge on the dashboard is also getting its information from here. And then other times there's going to be a separate sensor for that. So be sure to get information for your vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. But the last thing that's going to cause this is some kind of issue going on inside the wiring. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0115 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.